So this is a, an alternative exercise to further challenge the QL, the left QL in this sense. So Dr. Levinson, tell us why you use this and why it works. Um, well, basically, Chad, in this exercise, uh, which is called a baby getup, uh -huh. uh, we're going to combine some things from Pavel Kolaj's work uh, from the DNS School of Thought, Dynamic Neuromuscular Stabilization out of Prague, uh, with the traditional Turkish getup. This is a great exercise for getting the abdominal wall um, and the quadratus lumborum to work together in a progression that a baby did when they were seven and a half or eight months old. Okay. It's hardwired into the nervous system. It's particularly good for people that have shoulder issues because it's really going to help with the unpacking of the shoulder or the packing down of the shoulder. Excellent. So let's, let's come on over here, uh, get uh, this foot mid-shin and the balls of the foot against the uh, apparatus here, against the pulley machine. Okay. Beautiful. We're going to make sure the elbow is underneath the shoulder. And we're going to stay on this knee. We're going to stay on this foot. And we're going to begin to get up. We're going to begin to raise up the pelvis. Beautiful. Perfect form. Good. And lower yourself. A lot of people will make the mistake of lifting this knee. Your, your technique is perfect. Make sure you give a little effort there to push off. Okay. So we get that dynamic. So I'm pushing through the ball of my left foot, lifting my hips forward as far as they can go, keeping this knee down. And we'll notice here that we've got, again, the perfect alignment here from the ear to the shoulder to the hip to the knee. We're in a perfect plank here. We got here functionally, just like one would in a Turkish getup. The other component from DNS is that this is how the baby would move into the quadruped position. So as you come up, you're going to reach with your right arm. Okay, reach straight out in front? Yep, reach okay. right across your body. So I come up, reach, reach. Good. straight out. That's it. Then go on back and down. We'll do one more. If we took it to the next step, Chad would roll onto all fours, which would be a progression towards getting into a sumo squat position like a 12-month-old, mm -hmm. and then eventually raising arms and standing up like a 13 or 14-month-old in an overhead squat. Okay, excellent. So that really turns on a lot of muscles. It helps a lot of people with shoulder problems uh, to develop the lat strength mm -hmm. and to change their posture so their upper traps and their levator scap aren't shrugging the shoulder all the time. Yeah, because shoulder problems are everywhere these days. So this is a good alternative because I will put someone in a side plank position and I'll be like, okay, do you feel your QL, your side core muscles? And they'll be like, no, it just hurts my shoulder. So this is a, a great alternative for people who have those problems. Yeah, so, so in, in recap, we went over uh, the basic exercises, the side bridge on knees, the side plank, and the plank roll, which is just a basic way to isolate those muscles in a stabilizing way, right. in a functional way, and then we went upright using the kettlebell, which is just a really innovative way to get the QL and the contralateral gluteus medius working together to stabilize the frontal plane, and then finally a more novel or innovative approach, which has its roots in developmental kinesiology. All right, excellent. <laughs> now you all see why I'm studying under this guy. All right, he knows his stuff. So thanks a lot. Thank you, Chad. It's all been right, fun. thank you.